Hi, yeah, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and yeah, welcome to my channel. If you like it, like, subscribe, and share. Um, yeah, I want to thank Alex Uja for your support and your inspiration, and yeah, and Rose and all the other people who write to me all the time and send me stuff. Um, Pauline, yeah. Yeah, anyway, um, today I want to talk about this um, news headline. It says two-year-old baby is being threatened with deportation, even though his parent, his, is it a boy or a girl? Regardless, even though, I think it's a girl, even though her parents are British. You know, it's just kind of, it's really provocative. And the fact of the matter is, Maybe it's rightly provocative because the thing is, is that how can that happen? How can a two-year-old child um, be threatened with deport deportation? Actually, the baby is supposed to be booted out within two weeks when both parents are British. Well, what it's not telling you, well, it does tell you after you've read the headline, is that the mother is not born in the UK, the father wasn't born in the UK, and nor was the child. What happened is, is that they left South Africa to come to the UK and decided to stay. So they're naturalised citizens. And being naturalised citizens, technically you have the same rights as a Indigenous citizen. But with all this um, net, reducing net migration and stuff, people who are naturalised don't have the same rights when it comes to bringing more people into the country and increasing the numbers. So that's what it looks like happened here. I don't know categorically, but that's what it looks like to me. It looks like because they're not born of the soil, they don't have the rights. And plus, I'm not quite sure if they waited until the visa expired, because that's another criteria. Um, the visa expired in February. This news item came out last week. Oh, just a, actually, yeah, I think it's just a few days ago. Um, um, to say that she was applying for um, to have the leave for remain for her daughter, and it's been rejected by the Home Office. But it's not really saying um, when that application was put in. I mean, the way the Home Office is behaving or going on. They could have well put that application in before it expired, but we don't know. Um, but one of the criteria is that it does need to be um, put in before an expiry date for that child or any child on a child visitor's visa. Before it expires, you have to apply for it to be renewed. So I don't know if they've just applied for it, taken it for granted that because they have British passports, they might be, they're entitled to, their child would be entitled to one, but that's not the case. To make it, well, it wouldn't even matter because the father isn't even British because the mother and the father, they've split up and um, she's talking about her brother who's been in the country 13 years, but that's 2006 came over. British Nationality Act doesn't protect him. So I'm not quite sure why um, she's referring to her brother who's been here for 13 years and who's married to a Welsh lady. The thing is, I think... A lot of people um, really believe that they have a right to a British passport. And, you know, I don't think they realise that it is a privilege. It's, a it's given to us discretionary. You know, for people who are naturalised or it's given at the Crown's discretion or at the passport's discretion, passport officer's discretion. So when you're not born in the country... And then you're naturalised. And I don't even think they were here for very long, from what I understand. But regardless, um, it does appear from the headlines, it makes it look like you've got um, two English people. When you read the headlines, you know, got they're British. Um, they don't say they're, um, they're passport holders, British passport holders. They just say two-year-old toddler is being deported even though the parents are British. So it does paint a picture that there's a little child and the parents are British and you're more likely to think, oh my God, they're English and they've got a child and the child is English, but that's being deported. That's the way it comes over at a glance. 
But when you think that none of them are born in the country, there's not much of a legacy to hold on to because even if you were born into the country and if they were to follow America's um, template, you still have to have a couple of generations who are English or British or even if they weren't born in the country but they had grandparents or great-grandparents that were born in the UK, they would have a case. But I think, uh, well, I don't know. It doesn't say what the nationality of the grandparents are. But for them to refuse the child, I can only assume it's based on that. And, you know, or maybe they haven't um, followed protocol or something like that. I mean, otherwise, it, it doesn't make sense. And I know you could scream all kind of um, bias. Um, we can do that. But the fact remains is that to be honest, now more than ever, we all have to be very, very nervous, regardless, regardless, born on the soil or not, you have to be very, very nervous. Because, like I said, if they're revoking citizenship of people who are born in the country because of associations, much less people who are not born in the country. So, you know, I think we're living in a time where you know, you can't take anything for granted. And let me just um, read this out. You can always do your own research. I think I've got the link so I can put it below. But Lindsay was Dutton, originally from South Africa, but now living in South Wales, said her daughter, Lucy, child visitor visa expired in February. So that's why I'm wondering if it exceeded the 28 days that they're allowed. Um, in order to be a child visitor, or to get a child visitor visa, you have to be under 18. You have to be visiting the UK for no more than six months or 12 months. I don't know how long the child was in the country. Um, and you have to be, um, you have to have made suitable arrangements for the travel and your stay in the UK. Well, the child is only two. Um, so that would be the parent. Have consent for the parent and guardian. That was obviously in place. And you have frequent and ongoing need to come to the UK. Well, as a child, two-year-old child I guess the ongoing need would be to be with her parents I would think um, your reason for coming to the UK is unlikely to change significantly while the visa is valid and we know that the visa is no longer valid and you plan to leave the UK at the end of each visit that is a key thing because if they were if the visa expired in February that child was meant to leave in February so that is probably why the Home Office is not renewing it. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Um, your visa may be taken away, revoked, and you may get a long-term ban on visiting if your travel history shows you've repeatedly living in the UK for extended periods. I mean, once again, that wouldn't apply to a two-year-old, but the principle can apply if you have a child and it's under 18. So this could apply, we're talking about a two-year-old now, but it could apply to anyone who's in the country who has a child on a child visa. You could have your child sent back. Um, extending a visa must apply while you're in the UK. She was told to apply for the right to remain. I'm not quite sure by whom. I don't know if it was a solicitor. I doubt very much if it was the Home Office, but um, she was told to apply for a right to remain in the UK after the family came for a visit from South Africa last year, but decided to stay. The thing is, um, if the, you see, there's missing information. They only came last year. That doesn't make sense. Because if they only came last year, how did they get a British passport? So there's so there's there's um, information missing. So we can't really comment. I can't really comment. I'm just kind of deducing from what little I know about the immigration process, and I don't know much. Um, the pot, the reason why this situation could happen. Lindsay and Lucy's father claimed British citizenship through their parents. Ah, so their parents are obviously British. Um. Still, we don't know if they're British naturalised citizens or we don't know if they are actually British citizens. But anyway, so that's how they got their citizenship and probably how they got it so quickly. But something which extends to one generation 
which means Lucy, who was born in Johannesburg, does not have an automatic right to stay in the UK. So her parents are entitled to claim off of their parents' citizenship, but the child is not. Interesting. Yeah, because, yeah, their parents are not British, are they? Anyway, the Home Office refused the application and Lucy was given 14 days to leave the country. And I've put here, was this because they should have applied before the current visa expired? It doesn't say. Lucy's mother has since separated from Lucy's father, um, who also has a British passport, but was not born in the UK. He now lives in Market Harbour. So he's also naturalised. Lindsay took a high interest loan for 3,052 to cover the cost of the application for her daughter to remain in Britain. So she's putting herself in debt. She's not going to be able, you know, to do a loan for that, even if she wanted to bring her child back. Has she got the funds to look after the child? They're going to look at that. They're going to look at that and say she's taken out a high interest loan. That means she might not be in a financial situation to look after the child in this country and now she needs to find another 3,000 to fund an appeal and she's relying on donations. So this is what she says, I was born in South Africa as my mum moved there when she was quite young but I have a British passport and my brother Gareth is married to a Welsh girl. Extended family members have nothing to do with individual passport applications. So the brother is obviously okay. Uh, he's married to a worse girl, obviously still married, no problems there. And he's lived for 13 years. And that's why the mother moved back to the UK, apparently. They were trying to get the family all together. Both parents and grandparents have UK passports and all live here. So the parents yeah so the parents even though they got British passports they were done through the grandparents so yeah and she's saying it's a ridiculous situation which needs resolving immediately so yeah I just wanted to kind of put it out there because it is quite a big issue and it will leave people feeling a bit nervous but yeah, that is the situation, folks, and that's all for now. Bye-bye.